Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today, we will celebrate the memorial of St. Rock or San Roque, the healer. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I, I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have taught your church to keep all the heavenly commandments by love of you as God and love of neighbor, grant that, practicing the works of charity, after the example of blessed Saint Rock, we may be worthy to be numbered among the blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. Say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord God, because you are haughty of heart, you say, a God am I. I occupy a godly throne in the heart of the sea. And yet you are a man and not a god. However, you may think yourself like a god. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that is beyond you. By your wisdom and your intelligence, you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom applied to your trading, you have heated up your riches. Your heart has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have taught yourself to have the mind of a God, therefore I will bring against you foreigners, the most barbarous of nations. They shall draw their swords against your beauteous wisdom. They shall run them through your splendid apparel. They shall thrust you down to the pit, there to die, a bloody corpse in the heart of the sea. Will you then, will you then say, I am a god, when you face your murderers? No, you are a man, not a god, handed over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of the foreigners. For I have spoken, says the Lord of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It is I who deal death and give life. I would have said, I will make an end of them and blot out their name from men's memories. Had I not feared the insolence of their enemies, Fear that these foes would mistakenly woes. It is I who deal death and give life. Our own hand won the victory. The Lord had nothing to do with it, for they are people devoid of reason, having no understanding. It is I who deal death and give life. How could one man rouse a thousand, or two men put ten thousand to flight? unless it was because the rock sold them 
and the Lord delivered them up. It is I who deal death and gave life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. It is I who deal death and give life. Please stand. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for men, this is impossible, but for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, Please gospel, be seated. Jesus. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle therefore, than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Parang napaka-imposibling isipin, ano? That in an eye of a needle, a camel could pass through. Pero sa mga pag-aaral o sa pagsusuri, napag-alaman na mayroon pala talagang isang lugar doon sa, sa lugar ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, doon sa kanyang panahon, na tinatawag nilang eye of a needle. Yun yung reflection. Merong isang parang formang bato na pabilog na parang eye of a needle, kaya tinatawag nilang eye of a needle. And... Sabi nila, pwedeng-pwede naman daw talagang dumaan ang isang camel doon sa butas na yon. Paano dadaan ang camel doon sa butas na yon? Kailangan niyang lumuhod at dahan-dahang gagapang para makadaan doon sa butas. Kaya it is easier or it is possible for a camel to pass through that eye of a needle sa lugar na yon. And what was the reflection? Of course, Passing through the eye of a needle means entering the kingdom of God, entering the kingdom of heaven. And the message or the reflection about the message is this, that for us to enter the kingdom of God, we need to stoop down like that of a camel who is passing through the eye of a needle. Kailangan magpakumbaba para makapasok doon sa kaharian ng Diyos. Na sapagkat sa kaharian ng Diyos, walang mayabang, walang ma-pride. Lahat marunong magpa magpakumbaba, parang kamelyo na nagbumababa para makapasok doon sa eye of a needle. The rich, you know, the rich person, you know, 
who is characterized in this gospel today doesn't mean yung basa-basta na lang lahat ng mayaman hindi na makakapasok hindi naman ganun yun hindi naman ganun yun kung mayaman ka marami kang pera pero marunong ka pa rin magpakumbaba pwedeng pwede sa kaharian ng Diyos bakit ganun? bakit ganun? eh na kasi ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na Diyos na siyang nagahari sa kaharian ng Diyos, ay eh marunong magpakumbaba. Ito lang yung Diyos sa mundong ito na marunong yumuko, dumakot ng lupa. Pagtitingnan mo lahat ng mga pag-aaral patungkol sa deities, wala kang makikita ng Diyos na kagaya sa atin. Yumuko, kumuha ng lupa ipinadala ang kanyang sariling anak sa mundong ito upang ialay ang sarili ipinako sa krus na matay at inilibing at sa pangatlong araw na buhay na maguli pwede ba dumaan sa pagpapakumbaba babang baba na umabot sa kamatayan But it is through this humility that he was able, or he was able to save man and offered to us the kingdom of heaven. Kaya sa atin, na mga nangangarap na makapasok sa kaharian ng Diyos, kailangang magpakumbaba. Ano po ba yung ibig sabihin that we know how to stoop down and to be humble? Kung ikaw ay magpapakumbaba, Siguradong dapat mayroong kang pagmamahal. Nahirap magpakumbaba kung hindi ka nagmamahal. Kaya mayroong ka dapat pagmamahal. Ang ating Diyos, mahal na mahal tayo. Kaya nagpakumbaba. No, di ba? Kung di mo naman mahal yung tao, wala kang pakialam dun eh. Pero pag mahal mo yung tao, kahit ilang beses kang saktan, Anong ginagawa mo? Pinapatawad mo pa rin, ano? nagpapakumbaba ka. Hindi mo tinataas ang pride mo. Eh kasi mahal mo nga. Kaya, kung gusto nating magpakumbaba, merong pagmamahal. At kung merong pagmamahal na nagbibigay pagpakumbaba, marunong tayong makinig. And this is where the gospel tells all of us about the following of Jesus. Because following Jesus means we know how to be humble, we know how to love Him, and we know how to listen to Him. Na sapagkat importanteng-importante sa pagsunod sa ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, ang marunong makinig. Makinig, hindi lamang sa pamamagitan ng tenga, kundi sa pamamagitan ng puso. Kaya ngayon yung sinasabi nila, no, kapag yung tenga daw natin, tinanggal at pinagdugtong na ganyan, korteng puso. Nasapagkat yun ang tunay na pakikinig, hindi yung sa tenga lang, yung nasa puso. At kapag nakikinig ang puso, anong nangyayari? Marunong sumunod. Marunong sumunod. Na kaya nga minsan may mga lumalapit sa amin, mga magulang, sinasabi, nakakatawa nga eh. Hindi na yata ako mahal ng asawa ko, Father. Bakit? Ay, ng anak ko, Father, mga magulang. Hindi na yata ako mahal ng mga anak ko. Bakit? Hindi na sumusunod sa akin. Nag-teenager lang, ayon na akong sundin. Hindi na nakikinig. Ah, di ba? O di ba, konektado, pagmamahal, pakikinig, at pagsunod. Ganun na ganun yung pagpapakumbaba upang makapasok sa karian ng Diyos. Marunong magmahal, kaya marunong magpakumbaba, at marunong magpakumbaba kasi marunong makinig. At kapag ka marunong makinig, marunong sumunod. Those who know how to listen Jesus are those who are truly following His will and His works. 
tayong lahat dito, baka meron dito sa atin dinatawag mga deboto. Ang ibig sabihin nun, marunong kang sumunod sa ating mahal na ina. Kung ano yung yapak niya, yun din yung ginagawa natin. Kung ano yung pagpapakumbaba niya, kung ano yung pagsunod niya sa kagustuhan ng Diyos, yung kanyang fiat, bilang mga deboto, marunong tayong sumunod. Kaya nga pag nagpoprosesyon, ano, anong ginagawa natin? Nasaan tayo? Tayo ba nauuna doon sa imahen? Nandun tayo sa likod. To show to people that we are telling all the people that we are following Mary, her works and her deeds being devotees. Kasi marunong tayong makinig sa kanya. Kaya nakakamiss yung mga prosesyon, ano? Ngayong piyesta na darating, pinag-uusapan na ibalik na yung prosesyon. Kaya baka magkaroon ulit tayo na prosesyon ngayong darating na fiesta sa October 2. Kaya pagka mga, sa mga deboto na nandito, iniimbitahan kayo sa October 2. Fiesta po natin. Susunod ulit tayo sa prosesyon. At hindi lamang sa prosesyon, kundi sa gawa at sa salita sa tawag ng ating mahal na ina. Kapag marunong sumunod, marunong magpakumbaba. At kapag marunong magpakumbaba, merong pagmamahal. At kung merong pagmamahal, merong pakikinig. Ang tanong, nakikita po ba natin ang mga ito sa buhay natin bilang mga Kristiyano? Magsitayo po tayong lahat. We now pray to God our Father for the strength to overcome the lure of material wealth and security. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be our witness to the values of the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That wealthy nations may share their resources with the poor nations and not exploit them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians who are living in abundance may learn the wisdom of using their wealth with generous charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show compassion and care to the elderly, the poor, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may share in the riches of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions. And we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. Heavenly Father, hear the petitions of our people. May we be nourished by the wisdom of Jesus who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these offerings of our service placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Saint Rock be accepted to you, O Lord, we pray. And grant that, released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that, encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so, with the angels and archangels, and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis' assistant Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Thou to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please me. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus et Sanctus Christi, custodiat me in vita eterna, in the money and blood of Christ.
Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we who are fortified by the power of this sacrament may learn through the example of Blessed Saint Rock to seek you always above all things and to bear in this world the likeness of the new man through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po ay magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentator, sa ating acolytes, sa ating Eucharistic ministers, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misang ito. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwit na wabawin ninyo po ang pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah.